they have is Elon. Oh, Elon, millions of people will get Neuralink brain chips. So it seems uh, like in this video here, he admits that he wants to put Neuralink in everyone, not just people who have, have disabilities or are blind or anything like that. He wants everyone to get Neuralink. Exactly. You remember, you remember even one year ago, maybe two years ago, the whole talk about Neuralink was about handicapped people. People who had a, a yeah. spinal injury, something like that, or brain dysfunction, whatever. And um, this was going to be this is going to be the the technology that basically would save them from their condition, and that that's all it ever talked about. You know, to, I didn't see it that way honestly because I knew Elon's mind where he was going with this. Now he's actually said it in the open. We need to pay attention to that. Uh, you, listen, listen to his um, uh, listen to his video. It's amazing. All right, here we go. Well, we feel pretty confident that um, I think maybe within the next year or two that someone with a Neuralink implant will be able to outperform um, a uh, pro gamer. Nice. Uh, because the reaction time would be faster. This bold prediction from Neuralink founder Elon Musk comes as the company marks another milestone with its second successful brain implant in a patient with spinal cord injuries. The company's aim to enable people to control digital devices purely through thought. Although he kept details sparse, Musk revealed that this patient, like the first one who was paralyzed in a diving accident, is seeing promising results. The first human recipient of the Neuralink chip, a quadriplegic, and now play video games just by using his mind. Me trying to move a body part um, and then that being mapped um, in some sort of like machine learning algorithm to be able to um, identify like my brain signals and then take that and give me cursor control. That all kind of made sense to me. I don't know like all the in, ins and outs of it, but I was like, there are still signals in my brain firing. They just can't get through because there's like a gap in my spinal cord. And so they just, they can't get all the way down and back up but they're still there. Musk hopes to expand Neuralink beyond repairing neuron damage to enhancing <clears throat> AI-human interactions. He believes future advancements could include augmentation for individuals without neurological issues, potentially offering superhuman abilities, such as improved vision across different spectrums. But these ideas raise serious medical and ethical questions over not just the long-term effects of implanting such devices, but also issues of privacy, consent, and potential misuse. For more of our unbiased, straight fact reporting, download the straighter. Well, we watched a video a few weeks ago where he said that he wants to give everyone superpowers. That's exactly right. Um, I want to be Spider Man. You know, I, I, how about you? Could you could be a Bat Man, and I'll be Spider Spider Man. Uh, you know, for for human <laughs> enhancement, um, you know, this this shows you how unplugged Elon is on certain areas. This is basic, basically fantasy wrapped up in whatever. Um, but um, <clears throat> for all of the good things he says um, about free speech, for instance, and what's going on with X, et cetera. You see these things just slipping out of his mouth. He wants to, um, you know, implant people with hundreds of millions of people. That's not all, all the people in the world, obviously. Does that is that going to create a super class of people who are augmented to have superhuman powers? Perhaps they can access uh, downloads directly to their brain from the internet. Uh, or, or whatever, or maybe just uh, uh, you know, uh, get into into the in, into the inside of controllers, for instance, to fly drones um, uh, it, from your own without moving a joystick, whatever. You know, it doesn't really say that what it is, but this is absolutely patently crazy. You know, something else he just recently said that he wants to he he's considering. Uh, that he wants to be uh, die um, on Mars. 
this okay well how are you going to get there you know, whatever he what he's so possessed about this idea of color colonizing mars that's not main mainstream thinking in america for sure this guy's unplugged no um you know we're going to see Neural, other things Neuralink like this come out of, i mean I was just saying Neuralink isn't either. Do you really think hundreds of millions of people are going to line up to get a chip put in their brain? I mean, I, I'm sure some will, but I not, not hundred million people. I don't think. Well, you know, people are really weird today because they've, they've gotten divorced from reality themselves. 